Alright, so in this video, I'll be showing you five Photoshop tips and tricks that you need to know in 2024. Now, these tips and tricks are going to help you very well and very much to improve your workflow, especially in this day and age. Now, without much talk and without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, now let's say you want to copy a color from a website, let me say Pinterest, and you want to use the color palette that you saw in your Pinterest home feed. So I go back to my home feed uh, here, and then there's a color that you want to use that you saw. Let me say this nice vibrant red color now that you saw here. I want to apply it. Now what do you do? When you hold I on your keyboard or you go back to the eyedropper tool, then you long press and as you're long pressing it's collecting the colors from the surroundings. Now what you want to do is just to drag the color out and then you see the color in your own uh, Photoshop. Um, you are seeing it in your foreground color here. here. Alright, so you just want to save it and then you have this. Now this is the same exact red color that you saw here. Similarly, any other color that you want to use. Any other color that you want to use, you can just tap I on your keyboard again and drag it here. And then you can select the color from here. Alright, the next tip and trick I want to show you is how to change the color of your canvas. Now, usually what people do is that they go to color or they go to preferences. You can do that by holding Ctrl K on your keyboard. So they go back to preferences or interface and then they go to set standard screen mode and they have to change it to any color that they want to change which is a whole lot of stress or they right click and they can change it here now if you want to do that very fast you can hold your space bar and the f key and then you can just easily toggle any color that you want to change if you're working on a dark project you can change it to white and if you want it to be pure white just change your custom color to pure white so you select custom color and you change it to pure white and then when you're toggling order colors also you are going to see that color there and you see the dark black which is my favorite all right the third photoshop tip i want to show you is when you are in your brush tool here and then you paint and then you see that the brush is just showing a plus icon which is called a crosshair you are trying to position it and it's showing a crosshair like this but you don't want it to show now what you have to do is just to tap on the caps lock button and then you have the original version of your brush here you tap the caps lock button and then it changes to the precise brush that you're looking for the precise brush size also an additional tip if you want to increase the brush size instead of right clicking and then increasing it here what you want to do instead of right clicking and increases the brush size here what you want to do is you want to hold alt and then use your right mouse right click and hold it and then use it to increase the size of your brush you can also do it that vertically by sliding down and then you can use it to increase the hardness of your brush just see just see the difference yeah that is it and you can use it to reduce the size of your brush and the hardness of your brush also if you go back to if you if you notice that your brush has some you notice that your brush has some space like it's, it's rough when you zoom in you're seeing these lines like it's going like this what you want to do is you go back to window and then you go to your brush settings and when the brush settings panel opens you are going to go to spacing here you want to reduce your spacing to the lowest now if i come over to this place again and i use my white let me paint this out now let me use the same color I used before. You are seeing that it's smooth. It's smoother than before. Like this. Now if you want your brush to be very smooth, go over to this smoothing up here. And then you have to increase the smoothing of your brush. And then when you make strokes like this, you are seeing that it's more smooth. Or it's smoother than before. So you can use it to create brushes like this. Now, it can create a bit of a lag when you are adding those brush you can it can create a bit of a lag other than when the smoothing is there you can see how rough it is 
so the fourth trick i want to show you is many of us like shortcuts just like me and if you want to create custom shortcuts on your photoshop go over to shortcuts edit and then you see keyboard shortcuts here now why in shortcut you want to look for the action that you want to perform and then assign a shortcut to it what do i mean if you want to create a new file you see the shortcut assigned to it is ctrl n so if you want to create a new file also hold ctrl shift n but it will tell you ctrl shift n is already in use and be removed from layer new layer if accepted which is the shortcut that it has already so you know that the default shortcut for this is just ctrl n so you are going to leave it at that now the shortcut i created was in layer i go back to layer and i scroll down to um create smart object or convert to smart object this is the shortcut i created which is control plus full stop and then i did another shortcut also which is which is control plus control shift full stop to rise my image now when i go over to this color here and i want to cut convert it to a smart object i hit control minus or control sorry control dot and then i have this if i want to rasterize it i hit ctrl shift dot and you can see that this is now a raster image now you can do this for several options or several actions you can go over to your filters here and you can assign shortcut to it another very useful one i use is camera raw filter i use ctrl shift a very well so when you hit ctrl shift a it takes you to the camera raw interface all right so the fifth tip i want to show you guys is if you want to if you want to automatically hide a layer this is a shortcut for you so just hold ctrl and comma to hide the layer also if you want to move a layer up and above the layer stack hold ctrl and then you hold your bracket key and then if you look closely you can see that the the layer is going up and up on the layer stack also if you want it to go very down like to the list you hold ctrl shift and then you hold it you hold the left bracket key similarly if you want it to go to the top you hold shift right and then you go to the right bracket key and you can see it at the top here all right so that will be it for this video if you enjoyed this video kindly leave a sub and also like the video and share the video to other people and i'm going to see you in the next video till then peace out